labral tears in the shoulder. So let, let's start with some history. So typically, uh, shoulder pain comes in a number of, uh, presents in a number of ways. It can present with stiffness. It can present with instability or looseness. I feel like my shoulder's coming out. And it can present with pain, sometimes sharp stabbing pain. The labrum in the shoulder is a structure that goes around the socket that acts like a suction cup to hold the ball in place. Okay, so essentially, when you have a labral tear, the suction in your shoulder is not normal. Okay, and so that can present in a number of different ways. It typically presents with pain, with overhead or behind the back activity. So the classic is I can't throw. So if I have a labral tear and I were in my dominant shoulder and I was gonna try and throw a ball, I can't do it, it hurts and, and it's, I have no velocity. That's classic for a labral tear, okay? Uh, the other is painful noise. Clicking, popping, catching in a shoulder can indicate a labral tear. Depending on where the labral tear is can give you additional symptoms. So in the shoulder specifically, if there is a labral tear in the front or what's called anterior, all right, that can give you real instability like my shoulder comes out of the socket. Dislocations, okay, so that can be fairly dangerous, okay? If the labral tear is around the top of the socket, that's called superior, that typically gives you catching noise and pain, but it doesn't come out. And then lastly, a labral tear in the back of the socket, posterior, will give you grinding and pain. So those symptoms can help me localize where the tear is. The problem with a labral tear in a shoulder is, once you develop it, whether it be traumatic, I fell off a horse, or whether it be uh, you know, non-traumatic or micro-trauma like years of throwing or heavy labor, okay? However you develop a labral tear, it does not go away by itself. It's not like cutting your skin, it doesn't heal. So that's typically when someone will come in, my shoulder's been bothering me, we make the diagnosis again with physical exam, um, history, and studies, typically x-rays and MRI. Okay, and once that diagnosis is made, the options revolve around symptom treatment. So if it's a very small tear and the shoulder is not unstable, we can sometimes treat with physical therapy, cortisone injections, okay, and sometimes activity modification. If that tear is bigger or in a dangerous area like in the front causing instability or the ball comes out of the socket, that is usually a surgical issue and that's arthroscopic surgery, one of my specialties where I put a camera inside the shoulder and I can repair that labrum and I can restore the normal suction to the shoulder. And people can typically be 100% normal again, back to throwing, climbing, exercise, and all that kind of stuff, okay? That takes a few months to recover from, but that typically tends to do very, very well.